Drumcondra House and All Hallows College. Hidden by large trees and high walls, Drumcondra House is tucked away between Drumcondra Road Upper and Grace Park Road. The house was designed by the architect Sir Edward Lovett Pearce. He also built the Old House of Parliament, which is now the Bank of Ireland and College Green. Drumcondra House is believed to be one of the best examples of a large house built in the style of the early 18th century. This style is called Georgian, after the British kings called George. This type of house is rectangular in shape, large, and with two or three storeys. The house was built in 1726, and at that time Drumcondra consisted of parks, fields, and a few farmhouses. The builder had a strange name. This was Sir Marmaduke Coghill, and he was quite brilliant. He started university at 14 and finished at 18. Sir Marmaduke loved the house, especially the gardens. He lived in the house with his sister until his death in 1738. After that, it was rented to tenants. Of all the tenants who lived in it afterwards, John Claudius Beresford is the one that is most remembered. He became known for his cruelty towards a group of people who call themselves the United Irishmen. They and their leader, Wolf Tone, wanted an Irish Republic, which was independent of Britain. In 1798, they started a rebellion, but lost to the British troops. Beresford did not like the United Irishmen and hunted them down. It is said that many of them were hanged from a large chestnut tree, which stood facing Drumcondra House until 1952. In 1842, Drumcondra House was rented by a Catholic priest named Father John Hand. He wanted to establish a centre where young priests were trained as missionaries. Then they could bring the Catholic faith to people living in foreign countries. He chose Drumcondra House as his headquarters. The centre became known as the Missionary College of All Hallows. All Hallows is another word for All Saints. Father Hand chose the name because the land where Drumcondra House had been built had once belonged to the Monastery of All Saints. But many people did not know this and often misspelt it as All Hallows or even Old Hallows. The college was officially opened on the feast day of All Saints, November 1st, 1842. The first students soon arrived and when student numbers grew, many new buildings were added to Drumcondra House. All Hallows missionaries were sent all over the world, as far away as India, the island of Mauritius, the West Indies, South Africa and Australia. Today, All Hallows College is run by the Order of the Vincentians and is a college of Dublin City University. Students can study a number of subjects there, such as theology, philosophy and psychology.